Kids Learning Club. I beat day at the zoo. One day, Arby went to the zoo to see the animals. At the entrance, she met one guard. Upon entering, she heard a loud roar. She turned around to see two lions in the cage. Moving forward, she came across three crocodiles who were sunbathing. Not far from there were four elephants taking a mud bath. They were a family with mommy, daddy, and two cute baby elephants. As Arby explored more, she ran into a big cage with trees. Jumping on the trees were five monkeys. Arby was hungry and sat down to eat in the zoo cafeteria. Opposite to the cafeteria were six peacocks. A little further, she ran into a pond. Swimming in the pond were seven ducks. But that wasn't all. On the other side of the pond were eight turtles. Near the zoo's exit was a dense area with many trees. Perched on those trees were nine parrots. Just before leaving the zoo, Arby saw ten owls sitting on a single tree. She had never seen so many owls together. Amazed with the sight, she came back from the zoo and repeated the number of each animal she had seen. Baby, don't cry. Screeching, screaming, the baby cries. In a cradle on the floor, the baby lies. Mommy sings him nice lullabies, but the baby still has tears in his eyes. Hearing the cry, Daddy wakes up and opens the door. Smiling, he says, Hey, little champ, your cry is louder than my snore. Mommy gets him a cute soft toy, hands him a teddy bear to enjoy. But the baby doesn't cease to cry, be it Daddy, be it Teddy, or a nice lullaby. Then Mommy takes a look at Baby's nappy and says, It's Wee Wee. Now I know how to make you happy. Let's change your nappy. Oh, don't be shy. Dry and soft. The new nappy won't make you cry. Once Mommy is done with the chore, Baby smiles, sleeps, and cries no more. The ugly duckling. Once upon a time, on a farm, next to a pond, Mother Duck was sitting on her nest on her eggs. It was a summer's day. Slowly, one by one, her eggs all cracked open. The ducklings all said, Quack, quack! But one egg did not hatch. Grandfather Duck heard all the quacking and went to see Mother Duck. Mother Duck told him about the egg that had not hatched. Grandfather Duck thought the egg looked like a turkey's egg because it was so big. After a few days of waiting, the big egg hatched. Mother Duck could see that the duckling was not the same as the others. It was bigger, white and ugly. Mother Duck was sure that the duckling would change and become like the others. Mother Duck and the ducklings went swimming in the pond. The ugly duckling could swim much better than the others could. Mother Duck was very happy about this. After their swim, Mother Duck took the ducklings to the farmyard to play. The farm animals saw the ugly duckling and were very mean to him. 
They told him he looked ugly and that he did not look like the other ducklings. The ugly duckling became very sad. Mother Duck was not happy with the other animals and told them to leave the ugly duckling alone. Mother Duck told them how well the ugly duckling swam and how she thought he would look like the other ducklings in a few days. The days went by and nobody listened to Mother Duck. The farm animals still made fun of the ugly duckling. The other ducklings were also mean to him and would not play with him. The ugly duckling felt very sad. He did not want to be at the farm anymore. One night he ran away. He went a long, long way and fell asleep in a muddy marsh. The next morning the ugly duckling woke to see some of the wild ducks looking at him. He asked them if he could stay with them. They told him that he was ugly so he could not stay with them and had to go. The ugly duckling was very sad. Nobody was ready to be his friend because he was so ugly. It started to rain so the ugly duckling found a place to stay dry. He took shelter under the porch of an old house. The next day, the house door opened and a big dog came outside. The dog barked at the ugly duckling and the duckling had to run away very quickly. The days went by and winter came. The ugly duckling was very cold. He lived alone near a pond and made his home in the long grass. It was a long winter. Finally spring came with sunny days. One day on the pond, the ugly duckling saw three beautiful white swans swimming. The ugly duckling knew that they would not want him as a friend because he was too ugly. The three swans saw the ugly duckling and swam over to him. They said, Hello, new swan. The ugly duckling asked them why they called him a swan when he was a duck. The swans told him that he was not a duck and to look at his reflection in the water. The ugly duckling was very happy with his reflection in the water. He was not an ugly duckling anymore. He was a handsome Moral white lesson. swan. Never the judge three swans anyone were by happy their to be his friends Always care and they for other all people. swam in the pond. Do not be mean to others. The four swans flew up in the sky. The ugly duckling was a very handsome white swan. He was very happy. The children on the ground clapped as the swans flew above them.